In this video I want to show you how to clone a hard drive using Macrium Reflect. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel so to help support the channel and keep bringing you quality videos. Step 1 you need to download and install Macrium Reflect free. So open a web browser, go to macrium.com slash reflect free, click on home use, enter an email address to register and this is an important step because you're gonna get a code for registration and then click on continue once you get the registration you receive an email so go to your email open it and you need to copy the registration code we are going to use it later then click on the link to download the installer once you click on the link, the installer will download. Once it is downloaded, click on open file. And here keep everything by default and click on download. This will download the Macrium Reflect Free package. Depending on your internet speed, the download can take a minute or two maybe. Once the download finished, the installation program launches automatically. Click on next. And then next again. Accept the agreement. Next. And here make sure to choose home. And then next. You need to put here your email address. The same one that you use to register. And then here we are going to paste on the registration code the code that we copied from the email. Click next and next again to start the installation. It will take maybe a minute to install. It's very fast. The next step is to connect the external disk and to clone the internal disk to it. For this we are going to need a USB to SATA cable. You can get this from Amazon. I put the link for the cable and for the SSD in the description below in case you want to check it out. Once you click on finish after Macrium installs, if you kept launch Macrium checked, it will launch automatically, otherwise launch it yourself. And here is the startup screen. It detected the hard disks automatically. The first one, the top one in the screen is the one that is internal. The second one is the one connected with the USB. You can check them by their name to make sure that these are the one. So deselect the target disk and underneath the internal disk or the source disk, click clone disk and here click select a disk to clone to and select the target disk, which is the Samsung, which is on the USB cable. Now make sure everything is like you want and then click on next. Here we don't need to create a schedule because this is a one-time job. Click next again. Review the summary once again and then click on finish. Here also I'm unchecking the schedule because I don't need to run it again. I just need to run the backup. So keep it checked, run backup now, and then click on done. Here you have the warning that the target disk will be completely white. So make sure that you are selecting the correct disk. Check that you accept and click on continue. The operation begins. Depending on your hard disk speed, the operation will take maybe from 10 minutes till two, three hours and of course depending on the hard drive size. So once it creates a partition, it will open it directly. You can just close it or just minimize it. And the operation is always running in the background. As you see here, I accelerated the video and this is the third partition is copying. And once you receive clone completed successfully, it means that the disks were cloned successfully. So here, just click on close. 
Step three is to replace the old hard drive with a new one. First of all, the laptop needs to be shut down completely, not just in sleep mode, but shut down. Then you have to remove the battery. It's better to remove the battery to avoid static electricity for the disk. And then laptops usually have their hard disk here on the side. So it has two screws that we need to remove. So let's remove the screws with the Phillips head screwdriver. And now with a little bit of force, just slide the hard disk like this. And it's usually in the casing as it is here, as you see. It has a screw on this bracket. Let's remove it also. And then all we need to do is attach this bracket to the new hard disk. So this bracket here has something to go into the disk and here there's a screw. So careful not to break it. Let's see how the disk goes in. As you see there's a large connector and a smaller connector here. Look inside the laptop to see where the large connector goes and where the smaller connector goes. And here we see that the smaller connector is on the left. So align the disk like this and then put this back, the bracket like this and screw it on with the screw that we just removed from the other disk. Here it is, screwed, and then slide the disk gently and it should click in place. And put back the external screws to hold the disk in its place. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, not hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.